first light in the South Pacific nation of Vanuatu, a developing country where the ocean has always been at the heart of everyday life. But that same ocean now threatens communities scattered across Vanuatu's 83 islands. If sea levels rise as they're projected to by the end of the century at our present rate of greenhouse gas emissions, we will be flooding those communities. Not just island nations, but many of the world's major coastal cities. The key reason for that sea level rise is our warming planet. Oceans soak up huge amounts of heat from the atmosphere. In fact, the oceans take up so much heat that more than 90% of the extra heat energy that's been stored by the planet over the last 50 years is found in the oceans. So when we talk about global warming, we really mean ocean warming. As oceans warm, they expand in the same way liquid in a thermometer rises as it warms up. Heat isn't the only problem. Oceans are also great at gulping up carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And given how much us humans put up there, that's pretty helpful. But it's come at a major cost. As CO2 dissolves, it makes the ocean more acidic damaging the marine ecosystem, particularly plankton, the base of the marine food chain. That means countries such as Vanuatu face not just the challenge of sea level rise, but also big changes to marine life caused by warming, coral bleaching and acidification. The United Nations has warned them to brace for a radically different way of life. More than 6,000 kilometers away from tropical Vanuatu, the weather couldn't be more different. <laughs> but the scientists here in Chile, Antarctica, are also worried about warming. When the warmer ocean waters melt the ice around the edge of Antarctica, more ice can slide off the Antarctic continent into the ocean, and that also causes sea levels to rise. Antarctica is hemorrhaging ice. In fact, it's now losing six times more than it was in the 1980s. The second biggest ice sheet on Earth can be found in Greenland. Things here are no better. 60% of it is now showing signs of surface melting of at least one millimeter. Sounds small, right? Well, this is how that translates. Greenland is losing approximately 8,500 metric tons of ice per second, day in, day out. 8,500 tons of ice per second. Mind blowing. And as this NASA animation shows, current projections have things getting worse. All of these things are faster now than they were just a few decades ago. And the concern is that the rate is going to keep going up and at a faster and faster rate that will actually accelerate. And that's why climate scientists around the world are now speaking with one voice. The oceans are big, obviously, and so we can only measure them and track changes in the ocean by working together as a very well-coordinated global community. One such collaboration is the Global Ocean Observing System which taps the resources of satellite systems, governments, UN agencies, and individual scientists. It's a big effort, but one crucial to the future of not just places such as Vanuatu, but for the entire world. The Australian Academy of Science, because questions need answers.